Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a makeup tutorial requested by you. It is actually a look I wore in my last video. You guys really liked it. I liked that you liked it, so I decided to film it today. I feel like this is such a fresh, juicy, colorful, happy makeup tutorial. I'm gonna be using some new products to me. I mean, in the world where everything's being pumped out like like it's hard to keep up with all these drops. So this is new to me, okay? But it's the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. It's so beautiful. Like if you want some bright colors that have really good pigment and are easy to blend, like I'm telling you. With that said, let's go ahead and get into this makeup toot. The first thing I'm gonna do is set my lids. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tip. Just gonna put it here on the lid. Blend it out with my Beauty Blender because it gives like a nice, smooth little canvas here. This is the shade Schmedium. Now we want to set everything with our Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Wish me luck, you guys. All my brushes are dirty, so I just kind of pick one up and hope for the best. Hope that there's no glitter on it, but surprise. All the traveling, the dirtiness has piled up with my brushes, and I really need to take the time to give them a good cleaning. So I'm really, really setting everything here, and I actually like to take whatever's left over on my brush, flick it in the brows here. Put a little translucent powder up in there. I'm gonna try really hard to remember exactly what I did in my favorites video that I just uploaded, my summer favorites. You know, it's always the times where I'm zoned out doing my makeup that I feel like it comes out the coolest. And I don't film in those times because I'm just watching Netflix, living my life. So basically, the palette I used in my last video was the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. If you like warm tones, if you like bright summer colors, bam. And actually, it's not so much of a warm tone, but it's, I don't know, it looks like Fruit Loops. Colorful. But I'm gonna be taking the shade Morning. Right over here, it's this nice orange soda-y type of color. And I'm gonna be using that as my first transition shade in the upper crease using my MAC 224. What I'm doing is I'm really focusing the shadow into the crease, but not worrying about it getting onto the lid. Because sometimes I tend to like go a little too high with my eyeshadow. And so in order to prevent that, I just kind of make sure I'm starting lower and not worried about what's happening on the lid here. I am so excited that it's summer. It's finally starting to get hot up in here. So I'm feeling really colorful and bright and the sun just makes me happy. When it's sunny out, I feel like the most productive person. When it's gloomy, I'm like, please no. So I have to tell you guys that this brush has been one of my favorite blending brushes. It's from Pat McGrath and it is just, oh, perfection. I live, breathe, die for this brush. I'm gonna take this now and for sure, I dipped into Morgan right here, which is this really pretty peachy salmon-y color. And I'm gonna focus that more into the crease. These colors are so juicy. And as you can see, I'm taking it all the way in the inner corner and more of a round shape here and around the crease and then kind of flicking it out after. So just follow the eye socket. When we get here, just swish it out. Dipping back into morning, and I'm just gonna go along those edges of the color we just laid down. I've been loving bright eyeshadows lately. I feel like even if you just wanted to put more orangey color in the crease, and then Morgan on the lid and blow it out and just put a lot of mascara would be also another really pretty look. Very chic. Now I'm gonna go into Glory, which is this pretty fuchsia shade right over here. And this is gonna go just really into the eye socket closest to this crease line. I'm gonna use a smaller brush actually because I kinda wanna pack the color on. I'm gonna be using a Smith 230 brush. I'm not doing a full windshield wiper. I'm packing and wiggling the old pack and wiggle and really putting it in this inner corner here. Then this, I'm also gonna pack it on the outer part of the eye here on the lid. I'm taking the Pat McGrath brush and I'm gonna blend those edges out. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and repeat that. I'm just gonna add a little bit more pigment and then blend it out one more time. And when you blend these shadows, you want the blend to be softer. Hold it by the very tail of the brush so that you don't disturb all the other colors you put down by blending too roughly. It's just like a nice soft motion. We're done with the crease. I'm gonna add a little more shape tape to my lid just to have a nice even base for my lid color. So I'm just taking that on a flat concealer brush and I'm gonna apply it right here. 
You don't have to do this. You could just add your lid color if this, cause this part can be like a little hard sometimes, honestly. I find that it just helps my eyeshadow underneath pop a lot more. Sorry, I'm so close to my mirror, but you guys know I just really gotta, I really gotta get up in there so I could see what's going on. All right, so before I move on to the other, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this one with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna be dipping into Azalea, which is this beautiful shade right here. It looks very cranberry when I show it to you guys in the camera, but it has like this pinky gold iridescent look. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna apply it using a Smith 253 brush. I remember wetting this with Fix Plus because I just felt like it looked better. I really like using this brush because it's like a flat brush, but it also has this little tip so you could blend and get into the crease as you're packing the shadow on. Oof, yeah, that color is just so pretty. All right, I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and then just kind of clean up these edges here. Boom. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just do my lower lash line real quick. I've been doing my lower lash line before my concealer because I feel like it just looks better and less cakey once I'm done. I'm gonna take Morgan and Morning, which is the first two shades that we used, and I'm just gonna start running those and connecting them to the lower lash line. And then I'm also gonna take that pink shade, Glory, which is the hot pink that we have. Basically just mixing those three and applying them on the lower lash line. I'm using a Dose of Colors pencil brush. This is like one of my faves. I'm focusing more of the pink on the outer part of the lower lash line because I don't want to have like pink eye looking eye, unless you're into that, you know, then pink eyed up, girl. Recently, I had an eye problem. I feel like I always do, but I did recently right before the Benefit brow trip and I couldn't figure out what happened. I thought it was because I had a pimple, but it was not. It was not the pimple. Listen, you guys, I know where it's sensitive and when you should not try to pop something and I barely, barely, barely even touched. I had a pimple right here. Barely touched it, and then the next thing you know, I have no inner corner. It's like completely caved and swollen. And I realized it was a pimple cream that I was testing. I probably just had an allergic reaction to it because Steven used it and he was fine. It was like the fourth ray pimple cream. Kind of looks like the Mario Badescu. So I had put it there, like right here, like a little dot, then my eye got swollen. I was like, what are the odds, you know, I'm going somewhere where it's all about your makeup and your brows and let me just show up looking like Will Smith and Hitch. I'm so dramatic, but anything close to my eye freaks me out. So the last time I did this look, I didn't add liner, but I feel like it threw me off. Like I needed a little definition somewhere, so I'm gonna try using a liner this time. And this is a lip liner. I'm not opposed to using a lip liner. I am gonna use this lip liner. This is Jouer Longwear Cream Lip Liner in the shade Espresso. I'm gonna use it on my eyes. And then I'm just gonna lightly blend that out with a pencil brush to just like diffuse it. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna fix it right now. I need to get closer, so I'll be right back, BRB. Okay, so I'm ready to apply my lashes. I've been wearing House of Lashes Iconic Lights a lot lately. So I'm looking down into this mirror and I'm gonna just plop this lash on and hope for the best actually go on the first try. Oh, it did, it did. I feel so blessed. Lashes one. I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Torch Liner Pencil. I didn't actually do this the first time, but I'm like, hey, let me just put this in my waterline. It's just kind of like a ready orange liner. I'm gonna pick up Clove from the Sunrise Palette, which is right over here, and I'm gonna smoke out the outer lower lash line. Add a little depth over here. Picking up my Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer. This is in the shade SX09. And I'm using a Morphe Y18 brush. I'm just gonna apply this in the hollows here. Especially in this darkness that I have right here. It really helps. And also see this darkness I have over here. It also just covers that right up. And then I blend it outwards. See how that just covered that darkness up? And I really feather out those edges. Do you see that coverage that it just has here? You have to make sure to feather it out. I'm not gonna wear a full foundation today, so I'm really making sure I get those edges nice and blended. The sound that my rings are making against this brush really gives me Lisa Eldridge video vibes. Do you guys watch her videos? Like she, she has these rings that she wears and it makes kind of a similar sound, but it's so nice. Like I love to hear it when she's blending. I'm like, why do I like that sound so much? 
It's like soothing, it's weird. So now that we have really hit that coverage, I'm just gonna go in and spot conceal and add a little more concealer on top of that with my Aqua Luminous Concealer by Becca Cosmetics in the shade beige. Why I still look at the bottom of this before I use it, I have no idea. It's a force of habit, okay? I know what it is, but I always look at the bottom of it. I just don't know why. So I'm doing that and then I have a little, you know, I've been eating a little cheese. When I say a little, I mean I freaking ate all the cheese in the world this weekend. I had mozzarella balls, quesadillas, nachos, grilled cheese, you name it, I ate it. <laughs> I'm gonna assume this is a dairy situation here. Let's just get a little right here since we're at it. Then we're gonna take a nice little blending brush. This one is, I think this is BH Cosmetics. The label has just worn right off. So I'm just gonna pat this in. Blend it around. My forehead is like, like I have a, like a little, a very domey forehead. Sometimes people tell me I have a big ass head or like a big forehead. And Marky, what did you have to say about that? So does Angelina Jolie, Rihanna, and those are pretty powerful successes. He's like, there's a lot of powerful women. women with big foreheads. Yes. And he started listing. <laughs> it was nice. So once I blend in those spots. I just go in with whatever's left on the brush and just do little tapping, blending motions just so I make sure I have my edges diffused. I mean, I did cover quite a bit, but just wanna make sure it all looks even and it's blending into nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes using a mixture of Laura Mercier powder and Ben Nye banana powder. I just mix like equal parts of those two. Now, this is what I've been doing lately. I just take my RCMA and Dark Sheen Toe. This is just a cream foundation palette. And we're gonna add to my already bronzed forehead and do a half circle. I just really love this cream foundation to bronze because it has a really pretty finish, very luminous looking. Look at that, look at that warm forehead we just put. Like a sun-kissed dome. I'd like to do little circular motions too, so it's um, more diffused. I don't, I go over my chin a little bit because this area tends to get a little ashy and I feel like when I just, whatever's left over on my brush, I just kind of go over this. Let's dust off this powder here. Now that I've done that, now I am gonna go in with the blending brush and the yellow color and try to diffuse the lower lash line a little bit more with the yellow in the palette. I'm gonna squint so I get that like smize, the permanent smize look. Tyra says. Taking my Iman. This is actually a powder foundation, but I use it as a bronzer. I'm gonna take that and apply it on the perimeter just to set my bronzer helmet here. It has a slight shimmer, like a very slight, so it looks really nice and luminous. And kind of just go over the nose. Okay, and then for blush, I'm gonna be using this NARS palette. I've been loving this for blush because it's all the nice pops of summer colors. I'm gonna be mixing this baby pink shade with this more peachy shade right over here. And then again, like a very flushed look. You wanna do a little less blush than me? Feel free, my friends. But blush is the first thing to fade of your makeup, so don't worry. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Hoola Benefit bronzer to bronzer, bronzer to contour the nose. This is such a great nose contour shade. I usually just use it though on the very tip of the nose because that's where I want it to look the most pinched. I don't usually take it up all the way. You know what, let's add a beauty mark right here on this these like breakouts that I have. I'm gonna use this Glossier Brow Flick pen, which is really good. I'm gonna use it for these beauty marks, see what happens, let's see. A pimple, not anymore. I actually have two natural beauty marks here that everybody always thinks that I drew on. I'm gonna make them a little darker, cause why not? Here's the thing guys. I don't know if you see my ear piercings. They look kinda nasty. Remember when I got my ears pierced? Well, it's such a hassle. I don't know how everyone has like 20 piercings. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of maintenance, okay? And I just don't have time for all this work. Like you cannot sleep on your ear. And if you sleep on your ear, then you get a friction bubble, which is what I was getting, like these little bubbles. And then, you know, I, I had a double piercing here and the piercing fell straight through the hole. Like, 
it was so messed up from me sleeping on it. And as much as I tried not to sleep on it, I still would end up rolling over on my side. Whatever powders left over on my beauty blender is gonna kind of go over this so it doesn't look so fake, you know? Yeah, so I was getting these bubbles. I was so annoyed. I went to the piercing place and I was like, yo, am I gonna die? Just tell me, like what's going on with my ear? Are we gonna have to cut it off, like what's going on? And she was like, no, you're sleeping on it. Try sleeping on an airplane pillow. Just so that it doesn't get all messed up and it's a lot of work. I don't know how everyone out there is doing it. I'm very impressed with you. It's a lot of work. I will not be getting any more piercings. I cannot, I will not. All right, and then of course, some highlight. Bada beam, bada boom. This is the Dose of Colors Desi X KD Highlight. It is the best, it's the best, fuego. It's still available on Ulta. It's sold out on Dose of Colors, but available on Ulta. So get yourself some before it's gone for good and then, you know, you're not gonna glow like this. You know, just a little here. Just like the nicest amount, like look at that. That looks good without looking like crazy. I'm also gonna take a little bit of fuego, pop it in the inner corner. Okay, lips, and we're done, guys. So I really felt weird wearing this eye with a really bright lip in my last video, but I also told myself like, Desi, stop wearing a nude lip. You need to like step outside of the nude lip zone. That's why I ended up using this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lip Stick, and this is in the shade 130, Self Starter. Such a beautiful color. I think I definitely am gonna love this color even more with like a more neutral eye, but you guys all really liked it. So I'm very happy that I made that decision and I'm gonna go ahead and wear it again for you guys for this video. Let's try it with the Fruit Cocktail Lip Liner by MAC. Alrighty, so now it's time for the lip. Okay, you guys, I have a question. I have a video idea. I have a folder in my phone called Never Forget. And it's basically Katie and I's accumulated, embarrassing, or bad. There's a couple of good things in there, but moments that we'll never forget, right? So like just really embarrassing shit that's happened to us, bad haircuts, breakage, just anything embarrassing or bad, we have accumulated it into this folder. And every now and then, I send these photos to her to remind her, like, never forget. We always say it, never forget. And I asked her today, I was like, wouldn't it be a funny video if you and I went through our never forget folder on YouTube and showed you guys, like, all of these moments? So let me know in the comments below if you want that video, if you're into it, if you think it's a fun, cool idea. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up and, you know, Maybe if I get enough pressure on Katie, she will be 100% down to do it. See, I can't do it without her because a lot of these moments are her. So, you know, <laughs> I can't just do it without her, but let's pressure her in the comments and tell her that we need to do this video. With that said, this is the finished makeup look. Thank you guys, of course, for watching, supporting, always showing me love in the comments. I really enjoyed the comments in my last video. You guys were so amazingly sweet. And I'm happy you requested this makeup look because you know it's time for me to bring some color into my life every now and then. So here it is. I will see you guys in my next video. Happy 4th of July if I don't see you before then. And if this is after 4th of July, I hope you are recovering well, my friend. Bye-bye. Look at this little red dot here. Let's cover that bitch up really great. Oh, gone. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. Honestly, truly. I don't believe in it, I ain't gonna quote of my life. Why am I like this? I called Katie today and I asked her the same question. And she said, I don't know, but sometimes I want to return you. I said, sorry, no exchange, no return. Final sale. <laughs>